Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the forecast for the full moon that's going to be coming up on June 21st or 22nd, depending on where you live in the world. We're going to take a look at each life path number, but before we do, this of course is a general forecast. If you would like your own personal numerology uh, reading completed, please book some time with me. I would love to work with you. Also just want to mention there are, uh, there's some construction being done on my house, so hopefully it doesn't come through the recording, but if it does, I apologize. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Life path 11 two. So you all are going to be working with, you're basically going to be working with your own vibration in a lot of ways. You're going to be working with the energy of the two, and you're also going to be working with the energy of the 11, but you're working with the higher expression of the 11, which is the 47. So y'all got a lot going on with this, uh, this full moon. So this is really asking you to get serious about something, to really commit to something and focus your energy into it and then see it through to completion. So it is going to require sort of this additional effort, but it promises great rewards. If you can, again, you know, decide and then take action and then stick with it and see it through to completion, you will see the rewards of whatever it is that you commit to at this time, even if it takes a little while. Uh, because you do have that energy of the four in the 47. And so whenever we have that, it means we have to persevere. We have to commit to something. We have to see it through. There's no instant gratification here. We're building something. We're working to build something sustainable, something that we want and something that will, will bring the rewards, but it's not instant. It's not instant gratification. So this energy is saying, focus your energy now and build what it is that you want. So first, you're going to have to be decisive. You're going to have to make some kind of a decision. Once you make that decision, now figure out how you're going to make it happen, right? So get the strategy, get, you know, start your plan, figure out, figure out your steps, and then commit to it, whatever it is, even if it takes years to complete, even if it takes a while to get there. The four says, if you want it, you will persevere to get it. Um, and then when you get, the, when you receive it, it will be worth the effort because it, with four energy, the rewards are always in direct proportion to the effort put forth. So this is definitely a time to figure out first and foremost, what it is that you want, and then figure out how it is that you can move towards that. I would say definitely it's a focus type of energy. So it's saying, you know, get your ducks in a row, bring the bunnies back in type of thing, you know, it's really about focusing your energy and not being too easily distracted. So sometimes we'll say, okay, I want, I don't know, I want the new car. Let's just, I don't know, that's the example. I want the new car. Okay, you want the new car. What do you have to do to get the new car? Get a plan, all right? And then, okay, well, I want the new car, but it's gonna take me two years to save up to get the new car. Okay, well, we know that we want the new car, so we have to focus, get a plan, commit, see it through to completion, and then we'll get the new car. So it's that kind of energy. It's not one of one of those energies where it's like things just fall into our laps. It's one where we have to put in the effort, show up, commit to it, and make it happen. We are building what it is that we want. So this energy says, how will you build it? And will you stick with it? Um, yeah, I would also say, like I said, just be careful of distractions because it's easy to be like, I want the new car. Oh gosh, it's going to take two years. So you know what? I'll just buy something that I don't want. And then we do that. And then we're, we're not happy with it. We're discontented with it. So, you know, it's one of those energies where it's like, if you want it, work towards it and go get it. Um, don't be too quick to be distracted because you're not seeing the instant gratification because you will get there. You will get there. So beautiful energy here is definitely about being focused and not being easily distracted. So whatever you need to do to be able to do that and you will reap the rewards. So beautiful energy 11s. I hope it's a great illumination. Take care. Bye for now.